Hello dear students. This is Dr. Chivi Otari, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. Welcome to this course, Computer Graphics Unit 1 Introduction. In this lesson 4, we are going to learn about various flat panel display devices. Flat panel display devices are the class of video devices that have reduced volume, weight and power requirements as compared to the CRT display devices. Examples of flat panel display devices include TV monitors, calculators, pocket video games as well as laptop and desktops. There are two types of flat panel display devices, one using emissive technology and another using non-emissive technology. Emissive type of flat panel display devices convert electrical energy into light. Plasma panels, thin film electroluminescent display devices and light emitting diodes are the examples of display devices using emissive method. Non-emissive display devices use optical effects to convert sunlight or light coming from different sources into graphic patterns. Example of display devices using non-emissive method are liquid crystal display devices. Let us study the technology of each one of these display devices using emissive technology. The first type of display device is plasma panel display device. It is also called as gas discharge display device which is constructed by filling the region between the two glass plates with a mixture of gases that usually include neon. As shown in figure on the left side of your screen, there are two glass plates and a gas usually neon is sandwiched in between these two glass plates. A series of vertical conducting ribbons is placed on one glass plate and horizontal ribbons is placed on another glass plate. By applying sufficient voltage to the pair of horizontal and vertical conductors, the gas at the intersection of the two conductors break down into a glowing plasma of electrons and ions, due to which we can see a visible glowing dot on the screen on the surface of your plasma panel display device. Disadvantage of plasma panel display device is that they are strictly monochromatic devices. Another display device using emissive technology is thin film electroluminescent display device. Thin film electroluminescent display device have the same structure similar to your plasma panel display device. The difference is that the region between the glass plates is filled with a phosphor such as zinc sulphide doped with manganese instead of gases. When a sufficient high voltage is applied to the pair of crossing electrodes, the phosphor becomes a conductor in the area of intersection of the two electrodes. Thus, at the point of intersection of the two electrodes which are aligned perpendicular to each other, we can see a visible dot, glowing dot on the surface of your electroluminescent display device. Disadvantage of thin film electroluminescent display device is that it requires more power as compared to the plasma panel display device. Also good color or grayscale displays. The third type of display device that uses emissive technology is LED light emitting diode. It consists of matrix of diodes arranged to form the pixel position in the display. Picture definition is stored in a refresh buffer. The information is read from the refresh buffer and converted to voltage levels that are then applied to the diodes to produce the light patterns in the display. Thus, at each intersection of the diodes, we can see a pixel glowing dot visible on the surface of your LED device. Another type of display device that uses non-emissive technology is liquid crystal display device. LCD display devices are commonly used in small systems like calculators and laptops. They produce picture by passing polarized light from the surrounding or from an internal light source through a liquid crystal material that can be aligned to either block or transmit the light. The term liquid crystal refers to the fact that these compounds have a crystalline arrangement of molecules, yet they flow like a crystal. There are two glass plates, each containing a light polarizer at right angles to the other plate. They sandwich liquid crystal material. So, as can be seen in the figure on the left side of the screen, there are two glass plates which are mounted with the polarizers. These polarizers 
are aligned perpendicular to each other. In between the glass plates, we have liquid crystal material sandwiched in between. The rows of horizontal transparent conductors are placed on one glass plate and the columns of vertical conductors are placed on another glass plate. Thus, the two transparent conductors are perpendicular to each other. The intersection of the two conductors, they define the pixel position. The, pix the pixel is in two states, either on state or off state. When the liquid crystal molecules allow the light to transmit, the pixel goes into the on state. Whereas, when the light is not transmitted, the pixel is in 